Okay, hello everyone. How is it going today? Uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is uh, Bakubayeva Igeremaya Perkenze, and I'm a teacher of uh, English. And uh, now I work with Singapore uh, pro program in uh, Lubyak International School. Um, learning a language um, is impossible without mastering lexical skills. I mean, without uh, memorizing words. Um, and the minimum vocabulary uh, is the ba base that uh, makes it possible to uh, read, to write in English, to listen, and of course to know the, uh, to know the English words. You need to uh, learn them. And uh, of course, it is perfect if uh, most if the words are remembered uh, fast. So they say that such. Um, uh, such people have a perfect memory, but not all of people not not all people uh, can remember words easily. Uh, so school children uh, they learn words uh, in the process of their activities, and uh, they if the if the the lesson is interesting, if the tasks resonate with the, with children, if they participate they actively participate in the lesson, they will uh, remember words unconsciously. And um, of course, the um, uh, tasks such as uh, write down new words into your vocabulary and learn them by heart, they are not about kids. Uh, it is not just the uh, our children, but uh, because they they uh, uh, they learn new words uh, as a set of uh, sounds and letters, and uh, of course, first of all, we have to um, we have to um, need something in order to these sets to be linked. With. And of course, uh, such uh, for example, we have to use uh, pictures or um, uh, or uh, uh, in, uh, or uh, objects. Uh, and in this case, uh, the memory starts associating the word with its uh, real form. But sometimes they are weak. Uh, sometimes they break down. And in this case, uh, we as the teachers, we work. Uh, we try to use the game uh, techniques. And I want to uh, share um, with you with my uh, present, uh, presentation and with some game techniques that I used uh, during my lesson. But first of all, I'd like to show you uh, how I start my lesson with my first graders. Um, first of all, we at the beginning of the lesson, we use a song. Uh, here we, um, I chose hello song. We usually sing and dance together. And it makes uh, them, um, the song makes them wake up. And after that, I usually say them, uh, and this, I, um, in this lesson, I usually um, say them that we are going to take a brr sound. And we, I show them uh, pictures um, with the sound and with new words. And we repeat the words uh, several times. And I ask them uh, to read these words together. For example, I can divide them into boys and girls, or I can give uh, to, to read the words to, to one student. And uh, it is up to you, of course. And after that, um, this site um, this site uh, gives us um, a lot of opportunities to work, and there are a lot of useful uh, things that uh, that we can use in our lesson. And before uh, watching the video, uh, this is a video about Brian and Brett that uh, make breakfast for their mom. Before watching the video, I usually ask them questions like, "What can you see here? Uh, what are they doing?" And they can also um, answer like I can see egg, I can see brothers or something like this. Um, the, uh, it is up to the vocabulary. And after that, we watch the video um, just uh, to understand. Uh, yeah, just to understand what this uh, video is about. And next uh, time uh, when we watch the video secondly, I uh, usually uh, give them questions. Um, like here, I write down questions on the board, uh, and during um, the time when they watch uh, the video, uh, they have to find the answer. They try to find the answers to these questions. Like the first, uh, who makes breakfast for mom? 
uh, or why can they make uh, pancakes after all? Or how do you think mom feels when she says her breakfast? I um, try to choose uh, the easiest questions. Uh, and I, uh, I usually uh, notice their level of English and um, it is uh, up to my students. And next, uh, I try to improve um, their speech. I try to uh, work with speaking. Uh, like I give uh, questions for themselves. Uh, like, what does your mom make for breakfast? Or uh, what do you like eating for breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? Uh, and next, I can uh, ask, uh, give them questions like, do you help your mom to make breakfast? Or do you want to help your mom? Because I don't think that they uh, make breakfast for their for themselves or for their parents. That's why I don't use such kinds of questions if the answer is no. Uh, next, um, uh, next here, uh, this is my uh, favorite method. Um, I use uh, what is missing. I use um, this sentence uh, all my lessons. Uh, this uh, method all my lessons. And I choose um, the sentence from the video, which uh, we have watched before. Uh, for example, here I uh, chose the sentence like mom uh, wants some breakfast. And I write down the sentence on the board and we read it together for several times. And then I give for girls to read and for boys. And um, I want to say that I, um, learn by heart this, this one sentence. And then I start uh, to clean the words uh, from the end and the students should name the word, yeah? And I also use my hand in order to show the places of the words like mom wants some and they say breakfast. Like uh, they have to remember the sentence. And after that, I clean one more word. And also I uh, show the places of the words with my hands. Mom wants some breakfast. And it really works. They remember the sentence and uh, they can easily pronounce the words. Mom wants some breakfast. And here at the end, you can see that uh, there is no sentence on the board and um, they uh, can easily, um, Tell, uh, they can easily answer the give me the, this full sentence. Yeah, mom wants some breakfast. It means that they uh, now they are able to uh, make uh, a, a sentence with the word with the verb wants or with brr sound. Why do I usually give such kinds of tasks? Because in their activity books we can see um, this task. This is um, uh, there are a lot of words and they have to make uh, some sentences. As you see here, the words that we I used before, mom and once breakfast, broccoli, bread, dad, and uh, here, uh, I think they can easily make up sentences like mom wants some breakfast, yeah, or mom uh, wants brown bread, or dad wants broccoli, and this uh, was easy for, for my students. And next, uh, I also use uh, magnet, magnet letters uh, here, uh, but in this task, uh, they give them uh, different kinds of words that we um, uh, haven't used uh, during uh, the first lesson. That's why I usually give them uh, letters on the board and they have to uh, write the word which we, um, which we have taken at the beginning of the lesson. Uh, like bread and broccoli. I think it is interesting and the, my students like uh, like to compete. And if I, uh, at the beginning of this such kinds of tasks, I all usually tell them if you have four uh, uh, right words, I'll give you two smiles or two stickers or two tokens. If you have just one word or two words, I'll give you one sticker and so on. And they are eager to uh, get uh, stickers. Uh, next, um, of course, we uh, at the end of the lesson, we also revise all the things, all the material that we uh, got during the lesson, and we sing, uh, we write song together. And this is uh, this is the first. Uh, this is just one lesson with bur sound with my first graders, and I also want to share with you with some uh, game techniques and methods. Uh, that I use um, in my lessons. And this one is um, 
can help you to assess your students. Yeah, um, and here you can see uh, bottles, and you can you have to stick some words um, on the bottles. Like here, you can see just also previous lessons words like drink, dragon, and broccoli breakfast. And I will uh, divide them into two groups, and I'll give them a little bowl. And they have to um, name the bottle that they can um, they can reach on with their balls. I mean, for example, if they um, can see here broccoli, if they uh, hit the broccoli, the bottle with the broccoli, and they have to name them. And next, the second uh, uh, here we have got walking gallery uh, this is my favorite uh, favorite one because my students really uh, love doing this uh, love playing this game and uh, I as an example I took my second uh, graders here uh, this is from uh, English um, unit seven once upon a time uh, fairy tale and this is the second lesson when uh, I wanted to uh, know whether my students know these words or not. And here um, on the wall, <coughs> I uh, stick some uh, uh, pictures and um, I gave my students some cards with, the, with uh, new words. And they have to walk and find the pictures and uh, next to the words, they have to write down the le letters like uh, beautiful queen is K, kind boy is H, nasty ogre is A. Uh, this is really interesting because uh, students uh, love uh, active uh, games. They don't like um, boring games. They don't like boring tasks. That's why they like to uh, run or and to be active and to show you that they are uh, the best students in the class. And also, you can also uh, uh, use run and write task. Uh, this is um, the same. Uh, I, I can say that they are synonyms. Uh, why? Because here in run and write, uh, you can you have to divide them um, into two. You can say that uh, now you are going to work uh, with your partners. And one of you will be a runner. One of you will be a writer. And runners, you have to run to the picture and look at the uh, letters. And you have to um, Run to your partners and whisper like beautiful queen is king. and uh, you have to be the first and uh, at the end you can say that if you have 10 uh, correct words uh, with correct letters I will give you five points or five tokens um, I think this is also fascinating to do uh, and next something wrong with my slide <laughs> uh, this one yeah where is uh, okay, and this uh, this is also active method. So um, uh, here in the first picture, I uh, used uh, pictures, and um, uh, they have to match pictures with uh, their names. Yeah, uh, and you also can see that which uh, student needs uh, uh, needs an extra task. And uh, in the second picture, uh, here. Uh, my second graders, they uh, had to find opposites. Uh, it, it is also an um, important thing that, uh, that your students, first of all, they have to know what uh, opposites are. And here, uh, poor girl and the rich king. Yeah? It's also uh, the game for matching. They have to match and they have to find the opposites with the given, uh, from the given pictures. And uh, next one is um, steam train. And I <clears throat> took also the same cars, and the cars are face down here. And uh, your students uh, come to this desk and choose one card. Uh, actually, you have to start with the first one. Uh, she, for example, she took, uh, takes the first card, and you, she has to um, name uh, this card. Yeah. With, the picture, for example, it is a nasty over or something like this. And they have to give you the full sentence, not just like um, beautiful queen or poor princess or something like this. They have to use the full uh, sentence because you we have to 
teach our students uh, to uh, give uh, full answers because they are uh, also use short answers. Yeah, I think it is not just in my lessons. Uh, next uh, here, uh, paper plane. Uh, this is also um, active uh, game, and uh, it is um, it is interesting to um, to do uh, paper planes with your students as uh, they uh, want to make uh, the. Uh, wants to they want to make the better plane in their life with the papers and here what uh what should you do you have to uh here you have to put these cards on the board uh, and they have to uh shoot on them they have to name them and here you, as you see this is also this uh, words um, is according to um, fairy tale theme uh, once upon a time like dwarf uh, ogre um, troll and something uh, this is the same like they have to name um, you can also give them to make some sense they make up some sentences like the ogre is green uh, i don't know the troll is funny and so on uh, next is a music chair and i think uh, when you hmm, when you hear the play the game music chair maybe you um you think that this is about this one the first one yeah then when students uh take chair and they dance around the chair and they have to sit on it now the music chair um the my version is about uh doing some tasks here you have to divide your class uh into groups uh here i have two groups and two, you can get to uh, chairs uh, and you will give them tasks. And uh, the task should be face down and you have to give one pen. And you will, when the music is on, they have to dance around the chair and the student who are in front of the chair, they have to sit and do the, the task. It, it can be uh, true or false. It can be choose the right answer. It can be for matching. It is up to you. But here I uh, use the mini boards and I give them markers in order to draw pictures. Uh, let me show you the video here. Is there sound? Huh? Uh, is there sound? We cannot hear anything. Yeah, yeah. It was. I don't know what how, what how to. to uh, okay. give is you there? The sound. Uh, I don't know. Is there? A, but you can hear the sound, right, on your computer. Yeah, I can oh, okay. hear the sound. And maybe yeah, in the but Zoom maybe setting, I had to share. Huh? In Zoom, there's like a setting where you can share sound. Uh -huh. um, it was. It's in the. Uh, it's where? On top. Uh, on top. When you're screen sharing, the, there's this banner, right? With the uh -huh. pause share. Yeah, and that. There you can click on the three uh, additional menu, and there must be a uh -huh. share sound, yeah. something like that. So let's try. Yeah, OK, let's. Uh... Back. Where is it? Ah. Okay. Maybe that's fun. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Let's... I don't know. Let's, let's see. Yes. Stop. Snowman. 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 Okay, and I, as you see, it is really interesting. Yeah, it is funny, and they are uh, they're really happy to do it. They are really um, fascinating about this game. They really want to be first. I think it is it would be useful for you. And I'm done. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> if you have any questions. Uh, thank you, Ayurum. This is wonderful. Uh, thanks for sharing your experiences. Uh, I believe you only started like three weeks ago, I think. 
right? Three weeks? Yeah, three weeks ago. Three weeks yes. ago yeah. so, so you're very new to this program. So what are your thoughts and opinions so far about this whole program? I think this is really... Um, this is really amazing program for our children as they um, now I was wondered when I um, when I had my first lesson in this uh, school I was wondered how they can talk uh, how they can speak English so very well and I think this is uh, this is of course uh, because they um, uh, study with Singapore program because this is also the result of I think the result of this program because uh, they um, uh, they study math and science in English. Uh, I think 27 hours a week. I uh, we see each other. I think that's really enough to uh, know English well. And I think we you give um, Kazakhstani children a good opportunity to uh, to I don't know how to say to be like. A, like a native speaker to be like um, to be like just the, the best students. I think as in uh, state schools, um, it is you, it is hard to see. It is difficult to find students who can uh, speak uh, fluently. Well, so your kids uh, are they were they reading when you got uh, to school in primary one? Was they reading already? Can they read? You mean my students in primary school? Yeah, in primary one, oh, uh, the first. Uh, yes, yeah, they are. They are able to read. They were okay. able to read. All right. So they started in September, and now it's January, so they can read by now. So that's really good. Yeah, yeah they can read. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Igerin, for sharing. Do, 